This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE3303 solids. Got a thin wall pressure vessel to review here today. We're given that a pressurized spherical tank is to be made of 10 millimeter thick st steel. Okay, so whenever I see that thin wall pressure vessel thing, I go to my equation sheet and I see that there are two equations given to me. One is sigma hoop it's PR over T. So I'm also given that sigma long PR over 2T. Okay, so as I read this problem, the pressurized spherical tank. Well, I remember that spherical tanks only have longitudinal pressure stresses. So, this is the equation I want, PR over 2T, because it's a spherical tank. It's to be made of 10 millimeter thick steel. That is the thickness of the wall. Remember, in this equation, I have P is pressure. I have TR as the inside radius. And on the bottom, I have the wall thickness. So, 10 millimeters is the wall thickness. It's subjected to an internal pressure of 5.5 megapascals. That is the pressure. And the maximum normal stress is not to exceed sigma max is 40 megapascals. That is sigma. That's the allowable in the walls. So question 13 is determine the outside di diameter of the tank to the nearest 10 millimeters. So now I'm thinking, hmm, something's up because they want outside diameter. And my equation involves radius. So I'm going to have to think about this. Okay, so first thing I want to do is rearrange the equation to say that the radius is equal to 2 times the thickness times the sh uh, normal stress in the walls divided by the pressure. Okay, what do I know? I know the thickness. First I've got 2 and then I get the thickness in millimeters. Then I've got uh, an allowable normal stress of 40 megapascals, which is a newton per millimeter squared, since I like working in millimeters and newtons. And then I have the internal pressure in the tank, which is also megapascals, and it's 5.5. So I've got newtons per millimeter squared on the bottom. So those cancel each other, and I'm left with millimeters, which is what I want. So I calculate that uh, number, and I get 145.5 millimeters. That's the inside radius. Now, I'm going to ask for a diameter, the outside diameter. So the diameter is going to be twice the radius two times the radius plus two times the wall thickness because I've got the radius which doesn't include the wall thickness which is that little number there and I've got two of those, I've got the same thing happening on this side a wall thickness and a radius. So 2 times 145.5 would give me the inside diameter plus 2 times the wall thickness of 10 would give me a number of 311 about I guess 310.9 and so I've got an absolute value I want to know to the nearest 10 millimeters. So I have a question. Do I go to 310 
or do I go to 320? Well, these can be tricky questions. I need to look at my original equation and see what happens when I go either direction. So my equation, basic equation, is sigma is PR over 2T. So, think about it. The number I'm thinking about is the radius. As I change the radius, as the radius gets bigger, you know, you think, well, make it bigger. Make the tank bigger. Make the radius bigger. Well, if you make R bigger, if this increases, then that increases the stress. So, you can see going bigger is the wrong way to go. Plug the numbers in if you want to and see what happens. If I go to 320, then I would be saying my radius is inside radius is something like 150. And so plug the numbers in. The pressure is 5.5. The bigger radius would be like 150 if I go bigger. 2 times 10. And I get a stress bigger than 5.5. I'm bigger than uh, 40 megapascals. I think it's like 41 or something. So that's clearly the wrong way to go. So I need to think about it. If I make the radius smaller, that makes the shear, the uh, normal stress smaller. And so that's the way I want to go. 310 instead of 320. So that's the correct answer. 310 millimeters.